meteorologist Lexi Birmingham with your first alert storm team forecast. We're going to start off with a quick look at the tropics because Barrow once again continues to rapidly intensify. At the top of our show it was still a category two hurricane. Now it's our first major hurricane of the 2024 hurricane season at a category three. Now has maximum sustained winds of 115 miles per hour and you can actually see the very distinct eye, the center of the storm really beginning to get its act together. And we are still expecting Barrow to continue to intensify over the next 12 hours, getting up to category Category 4 hurricane strength before it approaches the Windward Islands, most likely by late tonight or early Monday morning. As it passes into the Western Caribbean, it will see some weakening, but will maintain its major hurricane status. As it moves to the West, we could possibly see some impacts across Jamaica, and it will drop back down to a Category 2 hurricane as it approaches the Yucatan Peninsula. Now, the forecast models, again, like I mentioned, continue to stay very consistent and almost in agreement with one another, although we do have a couple of outliers here, keeping this to the west and moving towards the Yucatan Peninsula and eventually into the southern Gulf of Mexico. I think for our stretch of the Gulf Coast, we have a dome of high pressure that is going to keep this to the south and continue to drive it to the west. So right now, Barrel is not an immediate threat to our stretch of the Gulf Coast. And then on top of that, we still have two areas that we're watching as well. One in the Bay of Campeche with a medium chance of development and another wave just behind Barrel with a medium to high chance of development. These two not an immediate threat to our stretch of the Gulf Coast. Back here at home, here's a live look from our studio camera in Midtown Mobile. This is looking back towards the west, seeing some blue skies this morning. Meanwhile, we got some light clouds over Pensacola Beach this morning from our generator guys camera. Temperatures right now sitting in the upper 70s to lower 80s for most 78 in Atmore, 80 in Citronelle and Mobile, 81 in Grand Bay with 75 in Loosedale and 79 in Linksville. Forecast highs for today for most of us will reach the low to mid 90s, just a couple of degrees above normal for this time of the year with maybe some areas near the coast in the upper 80s which again, keep in mind, is not including the heat index values, which could range anywhere from about 105 to 110 degrees for today. So heat advisories are in place for the entire News 5 neighborhood from 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. That is except for Jackson County, which is under an excessive heat warning. That's because their heat index values could be anywhere from 110 to 115 later this afternoon. Live look at our radar right now. We are sitting nice and dry, but that will change this afternoon. About a 70% chance you will need those green and Phillips umbrellas. Now the good news is those rain chances will drop back down as we head into the new work week. Right now, Thursday, 4th of July, only seeing about a 30% chance for isolated showers and storms. So let's go ahead and look at the forecast model as daytime heating starts to kick in. We'll start to see some pop up showers and storms through the afternoon and into the evening. We should get a brief break from the rain as we head into about midnight on Monday. Might encounter a spotty shower or two, but we'll get a brief break as we head into your Monday morning around 730. Winds will stay out of the north and northwest. So I would highly recommend recommend just keeping the rain gear on hand for at least the next couple of days, but those rain chances will continue to decrease as the week goes on. As far as high temperatures are concerned, we'll be staying in the low to mid 90s. Meanwhile, lows tonight will be fairly warm in the middle to upper 70s over the next several days.